Siksha Vichar. I am Santosh and in this video I am here to explain you distributive property over two cases. First one would be over addition, second one would be over subtraction. The rules are a multiply b plus c equal to a multiply b plus a multiply c. Now question arises that what are a and b? So here a and b are real numbers that means they can be natural, they can be whole numbers, they can be integers, they can be rational, they can be irrational, any number can be there. Oh, this property will be followed by each and every number. Now one more thing why this property is known as distributive property. It is known as distributive property because when we multiply a by the sum a plus c this multiplication distributes over b and c. Oh, a is multiplied by b, a is multiplied by b and this sign plus and then a is multiplied by c that is ac. What we see? We see that this a is distributed over this addition to the numbers b and c. That is why it has become b, uh, a multiply b and plus me a multiply c. And that is why this property is known as distributive property. Here the case is addition. So we can say that distributive property over addition. And here the case is negative. That means we can say that distributive property over subtraction. What happens here? A is multiplied by the difference b minus c and this multiplication is distributes over subtraction. How? A is multiplied by b, a multiplied by b and then minus minus a is multiplied by c that is ac. How this property is applied in the questions? We will solve two examples. First one would be for case of over addition and second one would be the example to illustrate the situation of subtraction. Okay. Now first example. Example that is 1. Suppose that we want to multiply 5 by 102. We can normally multiply this number easily but whenever we want to understand this over addition that is distributive property over addition what we do here. We will do like that 5 multiplied this number can be break in two parts those are 100 plus 2. Okay, if we try to find the sum of 102, we will get 102. So that means 102 can be written as 100 plus 2. Now, according to this property, the multiplication of 5 with 102 will be distributed according to addition. That means 5 will be multiplied by 100. That means 5 multiply 100 and the sign would be as it is and then 5 will be multiplied by 2. So 5 multiplied 2. This will give us 5 into 100 that is 500 plus 5 into 2 that is 10. After addition of these two numbers we will get 510 that is the answer of this multiplication. So what we did here? We do the calculation according to distributive property over addition. Okay. Now example number 2 that will illustrate the situation of multiplication. Again suppose that we want to multiply 5 by 98. We can also multiply it by normal method as we do in real life. But in the case of distributive property over subtraction, what we do? We will do this 98 can be written as 100 minus 2. Okay. Why? Because whenever I will subtract 2 from 100, I will get 98. So 98 can be written as 100 minus 2. Now what will I do? 5 will be multiplied by 100, 5 into 100 and then 5 will be multiplied by 2 that is 5 multiply 2. This implies that 5 into 100 that is 500 minus 5 to the 10. After subtraction of these two numbers 500 minus ka 10 we will get what? 400 we will get 490 and that is the answer 
of this multiplication. So what we do here? We do one, uh, 5 multiply 102 with the help of distributive property over addition. And second case, we did 5 multiply 98 with the help of distributive property over subtraction. So it was the video. In this video, we discussed distributive property over subtraction and addition.